1500 is what I found in my parents' garage, and I'm gonna just go at it. <laughs> Wish me luck. Right here. What's going on, y'all? I'm back with some more Boxster content. Here you go, check that out. As you can see, I'm at my parents' place again. I uh, just drove here really quick. I came out and I noticed I got a little love tap right here on the bumper head, and I'm so glad Porsche has these. I thought they were the ugliest things in the world. Yeah, it's really not bad. It's honestly just like a little scuff right here. Um, I don't even know if you can see any of the other damage there and there's not much to begin with, but yeah, it's looking pretty solid. Uh, I'm going to give the car a quick wash, get all this dust off. I know I joked around about it the other day in the last vlog, but get all that dust off so I can see what I'm working with. Uh, and then buff and polish this thing and hopefully get, uh, get some of these out. Cause this honestly doesn't even feel bad. Like, yeah, this is, this is nothing. So yeah, let's see if I can get a better, better shot of this. There it is. Yeah, those little, little tiny, tiny scratches right there. I'm gonna see if I can get them out. Again, I love taking care of paint. So I don't know if this is just me and I don't even know if anybody would notice, <laughs> right? But I'm gonna try it out. So uh, I'm gonna go load up the, uh, the pressure washer, get the soap all prepped up and everything. And uh, you guys will watch me do it. actually gonna turn it around uh, so I can start buffing and polishing the rear. Wish me luck. Okay, here we are. You can actually see a little bit more of it here. Right, got a little bit of a scratch right there. Little scratch right here. And that's about it. Okay, for reference, we're using the uh, Adam Swirl Killer Mini. It's a uh, 12 millimeter long throw polisher. Uh, we do have a 21 mil too that we use on like larger body panels. But here, I'm thinking that this is gonna be the perfect size for this. Let me show you guys in a sec. All right, y'all, here it is. Here's the 12 millimeter uh, polisher. It is honestly super handy. Uh, I'm pairing it with some uh, this is the wrong one. <laughs> one sec. All right, I'm back. We're pairing it with some of uh, PNS's Platinum Compound right here. Awesome stuff. This gets rid of literally all my swirls. So I'm thinking that with a little bit of this and a little bit of this, that we're going to be in business. Literally smear it on there. And then go at it. Make sure the speed's good, yep. Okay, so you guys can see all the little scratches are gone. Let me show you. Yeah, all those little tiny scratches I was worried about up top, completely gone, completely smooth. It's like a nice little mirror. I think this right here is gonna need a little bit more love. Yeah, you can see this little, little leftover residual right here. Um, I just don't feel like doing the rest of this right now and uh, heating up the paint too much. You can feel it start to get a little warm. 
but yeah i mean not bad for what like a three minute job all right y'all just kidding so since we're already here i figured hey what's a little uh 1500 wet sand gonna do i really want to get this thing smoothed out uh if y'all didn't know i am really anal about my cars and i want this to be perfect so here goes nothing i don't know if we have any 2000 or 3000 grit but 1500 is what i found in my parents garage and i'm gonna just go at it <laughs> wish me luck right here right there's no, 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 no. oh what's that we have 2500 ah it's fine oh here no, 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 no. i'll start i'll start with the 15. Yeah, I didn't like how it was looking, so 1500 it is. <laughs> Okay, so now the scratches are gone. Look at that. It's pretty dull though, so I'm gonna do what I did like five minutes ago and just do a quick buff and polish, get it nice and reflective like that because this is looking pretty foggy. Like you guys can see right here, we made some, uh, made some clear coat milk. Yum. But all right, time for a buff and polish again. All right, just hit it with a quick buff. It is looking like that. Maybe even a little better. Ooh. Yeah, it's that little attention to detail, right? There's no scratches, nothing raised, nothing indented. And, oh, this is smooth. I could, like, I could probably slide off of this with how smooth it is. Ooh, yeah. Okay, this is all done. And there you have it. We're done with the Boxster officially. That is looking perfect. It is shining like it should. No signs of any scratches whatsoever. I should probably wet sand the entire car. I remember I I did like half the E36 wet sand. I think I did a uh, 2000 grit wet sand and then buffed and polished and it looked like new paint. So maybe this is the start of me buffing and uh, sanding the entire car. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I just spilled the water. But anyways, thank you all for watching. We're gonna go ahead and wash this now, get started on that. There's actually a little uh, uh, something we're gonna touch up with uh, some 15 and 2500 wet sand anyways. So this is gonna be perfect and I just spilled water on the buffer. Oops. But anyways, thank you all for watching, joining me on this uh, little paint correction journey. And till next time y'all, peace.